Hi everyone, I'm Charlene and I am back again this week with some new fabrics to share with you. Um, so this parcel has literally just arrived in through my door and I am so excited. So I've opened it, I've had a peek inside but I haven't actually taken anything out yet. So yeah, we will get it all opened up and I can share these beautiful beautiful fabrics with you i'm so excited by them um let's see how we're gonna it's like making oh too much noise oh my goodness look at all this so this bottom half was what i had originally ordered last week Um, i had mentioned in my last video that after being over at Lamazi and seeing all the gorgeous fabrics, I knew I was going to end up getting some more. Then the latest fabrics from CU6 arrived and it is launching today, um, this evening. So I had to add some of them in as well. So I ended up with two orders bundled into one. And oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited by all of these. So we will start off with the CU6 because I'm just so excited about this. Um, so, oh, we'll take this one out. Oh my goodness, look at these. So, this is the latest summer collection from CU6. I'd say nearly every time we probably say this is our favourite collection, but I think this time it actually might be <laughs> our favourite. There's so many beautiful prints in this. It is just honestly so, so lovely. There's seven printed french terries four matching planes and ribbons um two ecovero viscose satines five linen viscose two of them are plain and three new canvas I, i'm nearly sure i've got that all right so i have a few of them here honestly i could have got all of it the whole collection it is just it's so lovely the colors are just beautiful it's loads of really deep blues and peach and coral and it's just it's summer in a collection so the first one we'll do these two together oh it's so cute so unfortunately this is not for me this is for emily i showed the collection to emily as well on my phone and she just like completely fell for it um as well I knew, oh, look at those you guys they're so cute so this is sea turtle on peach parfait I'm pretty sure and it's just I mean I don't know what you can really say about it other than it is gorgeous and um, the color so you've got this peachy color then the coral and then this deeper blue and these are the colors that will run through the whole collection so you know you can always you know pair them together there is um there's one in particular that I just love. So it's this combined with, and I'll put the pictures in. It's maybe not in here. It's this print combined with this like blue inky print, and they're gorgeous together. They're so lovely. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a sweatshirt for Emily. She, Emily loves this fabric, so she does. Um, she was asking what it would feel like and I told her it would feel the same as her. We checked trousers that I'd already made her and she said definitely I want a jumper because it's so soft on the inside. So that's what she's getting and um, definitely a jumper. I might be able to squeeze shorts as well out of them and um, hopefully I'll try to as I'm going and then we have the matching ribbing for this which is just lovely. Then she spotted the pandas. <laughs> I just her wee face I couldn't say no to her so she's seen the pandas as well I do think the pandas would be really cute for Charlie as well but he's a gamer so he's not going to wear something like this um but yeah look at them she, oh they're gorgeous so we have this misty green color and then the inky blue as well and then just black and white so this will pair with Either of these, I think there's this ribbing and then there's the off-white and the black. Um, I have black ribbing, I'm pretty sure, somewhere, so I didn't need to get any. But yeah, another sweatshirt in this as well. 
And then if I can, I did try to convince her to go for shorts or t-shirts so I didn't have to buy another full meter, but she wanted a jumper. So we have two new jumpers here. Um, I have the IKT Couture Vancouver sweater cut out for her at the moment. And I'm gonna get it made up maybe today or tomorrow and see how it fits. And then if we're happy with that, I'm gonna cut out three more of them for her because, um, and possibly then the shorts as well and then that'll be like a whole new wardrobe <laughs> for near enough um i have where is it two seconds so this is from their spring collection this is imagine all the flowers we do still have this in stock but then this is i think this is the same green it is the same as this slightly darker peach or minty color here. So I might actually use this ribbing for this one. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be making leggings, recycle shorts out of this for Emily as well. So yeah, I actually think, yeah, the ribbing, just the neckband ribbing, I can get away with the cuffs in the same fabric um, in these two and then we leggings hopefully with that as well. And the, yeah, that's gonna be a really lovely wee outfit um all together so yeah i'm going to try and get then all of these done i'd say i can probably batch so a lot of them um on the overlocker with the same color of threads i don't think i'll have to change too much so yeah i just oh they're so lovely see it's six french terry i'm sure i've said this before it's just the nicest quality it's so perfect for summer perfect summer weight it's quite light but it's still cozy and soft and yeah i mean we haven't had a summer yet i think we're maybe starting maybe starting now but even at that we always need a sweatshirt during the summer and especially for the kids um i think this is going to be so perfect for her. then i'd say we'll be sharing this one so i got this i just i love this checkerboard print so i got the she has a pair of trousers in the French terry, the minty green French terry from the last one. And she really loves them. I really love them. But this time, this one, so there's the peach, the lighter color, this peach parfait in the checkerboard on French terry this time, or the darker tea rose in on the canvas. So see it's six canvas is quite soft it's not a really really stiff canvas so it can be used for the likes of shorts or jeans or dungarees which is what I'm going to make for Emily Um, she really loves wearing dungarees so I'm probably going to make a wee pair of dungarees in this for her and then hopefully there'll be enough to make a few wee bags or purses or something like that because I think it's just such a cute print Um, I love it I love this color it's so nice so yeah, and this shade comes in the plain linen viscose as well, which is a really, really nice color. Um, so yeah, these are gonna be dungarees. There's a new pattern company I just discovered. Well, they're not new, but I just new to me, um, called Notches. And there's a wee blouse they have, which is very like the the Chelly blouse, the polynalis one with the pleats on the sleeves and across the bodice and they had a really cool dungaree and dress pattern as well with like a really big ruffle so i'm probably going to make the dungarees they're sort of maybe along the same lines as like the yamped overalls that looser sort of style um overalls as opposed to like the bib dungarees so yeah i'm going to make these for her um in this oh it'd be so cute so yeah she does love wearing her wee dungarees um and then the last of your six is entirely for me. Um, so I'm actually going to be using this for, so this is called Beach Rose. And this is going to be for one of my garments for the So Recreate the Look Challenge. Oh my God. So see it's six linen viscose. Oh, it's so soft. It's really, really lovely. It just feels gorgeous absolutely beautiful and um, I ne never used to wear blue that much my high school uniform was blue very blue and um, so I think that sort of put me off it for a while but I really love prints with blue in it so I got 
this is the deco cotton lawn i think this color sold out we still have another colorway in it um in stock the i think it's the red and the green and i absolutely love it i really do like wearing it and then i've seen this it's a really really similar print to one of the dresses that i wanted to recreate so i thought yeah i'm just gonna go for it it's so pretty it's like that sort of antique china floral pattern um it's just gorgeous so we have these deeper blues here and then there's these softer pastels as well mixed in with the orangey shades these colors here there's like a misty mountain print i think it's something like that on the viscose satin and it's just like a really delicate swooshy watercolor and it's absolutely gorgeous in these sort of lighter shades but yeah this is going to be um the fiber mood ramona dress and it's like a sleeveless midi dress the one that i seen it's shorter but the pattern is midi length and when i looked at it i think i'd probably wear the midi length more so i'm going to make the midi and then if i need to shorten it i can shorten it but yeah i just think this is gorgeous really really lovely so yeah i'm so pleased with this oh and it feels amazing it's absolutely gorgeous there's one other floral print in this um I'll put the pictures in because it'll be hard to see in this anyway. Um, this one here, the other one is called Wildflowers and it is just absolutely gorgeous. So it's on the French Terry viscose and the canvas as well. So yeah, it's a really gorgeous collection. Really, really lovely. And it will be live this evening when this goes and this YouTube video is live. So I'll pop the link down below and you'll be able to shop it there. So, yes, moving on. Um, so I realized when I picked all these fabrics, apart from this top one, um, I think the lack of summer has been getting to me. <laughs> so I've gone for really, really bright patterns here and um, again now they're not actually all for me a lot of this fabric does seem to be for Emily or at least half of it anyway but she is in need of a new wardrobe so and yeah it's just hard to resist making things for her when they're so cute this first one this is the pinstripe linen viscose noel I've just made a pair of bisque trousers in this I adore them so comfy I've wore them like nearly every day since I made them and I've decided I want to make a waistcoat to match. So I got an extra meter of that. Um, then first one here. So this one had just come in stock. It was a new arrival just before I went over to Lamazi for the show and for Thread Festival. And when I seen it in person, I liked it. And then I seen it in person and I realized I really, really loved it. So I ended up getting it. Um, so again, we have a lot of the blues, but this time mixed with greens, uh, which is obviously very, very much my color palette. And I love these softer greens. It feels like it's quite a dusky summer color palette, but with a sweet bit of red to sort of brighten it up. And it maybe is, it's all along similar lines as this that I'm wearing, but with the green mixed in, and it's just, it's lovely. Um, I have two meters of this, and I think, it's going to be a shirt that's what I had in mind or top um yeah I think it's still going to be I do have a notion of making the the skirt that I made in the least Taylor opulence viscose and um, it's like the midi length with buttons down the side I do really want to make another one of them so I'm on the hunt for fabric to make that and yeah I don't think this is the right fabric for it though I want something different so yeah i think this is going to be a shirt or a top it's going to be lovely or if i really like the ramona dress it might be that as well because i think again a dress and this would be really nice for summer it'd be quite nice and floaty and loose so yeah dress or a top in this one then so this is from our summer party collection this is the lupine blue viscose with so this is the viscose with ecovero fibers and then there is an ecovero viscose as well which they came from different mills the other one is a more vibrant blue it's a really really deep blue background and the colors are just a wee bit stronger this is a slightly softer color palette and um, 
and it's the same base as the red and the blush and the green that we have as well in this in this print but again I think seeing it in person again whenever I was at the the festival I just I just absolutely love it and we've got the greens and the pinks and the purples and yeah I just adore it I have a skirt in the first green lupine green crepe that we had but honestly I could probably go for all the colours if I'm honest I do love the blush as well and I would happily take more of the green to make something else but I think this blue is going to be another oh, one of my self-drafted dresses um maybe the square neck again or the right neck I'm not sure but yeah I just think it's beautiful and I love this wee tiny pop I think it's just it's gorgeous and it's it's such a beautiful print like you do feel like if you touch it you're actually going to feel the texture of the paint um it's very like the like that monet style um and yeah it's so popular i think this is probably one of our most popular ever fabrics um and you can see why so it's on the viscose we also have it on french terry still which is lovely and yeah it's just gorgeous it's really really lovely and i do love this more of like an ocean blue background as opposed to the really deep blue then we'll do this one next so i think this one doesn't if you've if you've watched my videos for a while or follow me on instagram you'll know that this is sort of a, a no-brainer when it came back in this is our sweet emerald embroidery on glaze and uh, broadery on glaze and i just it's i mean it's emerald green and it's just summer in a fabric Um, i love this like sort of eye shape um as opposed to the floral eyelets that you can get i think it's really really lovely we have loads of colors in this it all just came back in and then we have ones that have the more florally um design as well uh i have two and a half meters because it is narrow most of the broader on glaze fabrics will be narrow and you've always got this deeper selvage just because it's how they have to they have to manufacture it um so initially i have been thinking a top with puffy sleeves no doubt um because it's cotton now although it's a cotton voile with the embroidery it is still going to hold sort of a nice bit of volume um i have seen a really lovely dress in a shop window close to the shop i would drive past most days bringing the kids to school and it's just like a fitted bodice with uh now this one has a midi skirt but when i looked at it i thought it would be really cute as fitted bodice a wee sort of short skirt and a puffy sleeve i think it would be adorable i would then have to line it and get the right color of fabric for underneath and i do think it would probably be a wee bit more formal but i think it would be gorgeous too it would be really really lovely um so that's sort of playing in my mind a wee bit if we had somewhere if we had a wedding or something to go to this summer that is probably what i would make but we don't and i do want to be able to wear it quite a bit so the other option there's a, one of our customers has shared a skirt on instagram that she made in the lilac and it's really lovely as well and um, so a skirt would be gorgeous in it so yeah i need to have a wee think about this one um i feel like a top i'm going to get so much wear out of it so we'll have to see what i think i would say suzanne the french um ready to wear brand that i like usually have a lot of different like eyelets and um, different tops blouses dresses so i could probably get some inspiration from there if i go and have a wee nosy um but yeah i just love this i mean i could just make a basic sort of t-shirt style top and would absolutely love it it's just gorgeous really really lovely i love this green and then we have two more here for emily so i'm currently doing a pattern test for little rosy cheeks and it's a top or dress made in cotton and i've got this for her final version of it so i've already made one it's really really cute i love this fabric i don't think personally i could wear it but i think it'll be perfect on emily so yeah this is going to be a little top for her um 
and I will be sharing that soon because I'll need to get it made. And then as we were looking through for different types of cotton to make the top, she spotted this and she said, oh, mummy, that would be so lovely as a wee puffy sleeve top. And I thought, she's just me, a little mini version of me. So I couldn't really say no to that. So I've actually got two meters of this. It may be a dress um, or two different tops, but this is the Narita Hansen, I think a dress. Narita Hansen Sunny Days um, cotton foil, so it's quite lightweight, but it will still gather up really, really nicely for a wee puff sleeve. Um, I have made the Fiber Mood, is it either Nola or Rosa dress for, and it's just a plain bodice, buttons down the front, and it has a three quarter length sleeve, but we've actually ended up shortening it to a puff sleeve, a wee short puff sleeve and there's wee patch pockets and it is really cute so it could be something like that um yeah and i mean because i got two meters of it i think this is only 10 pound a meter or something like that so it kind of felt it was a good one to sort of get more than more than i needed um because she will if i got a top and a dress out of this it'll go with so much and maybe this green background actually it could be two tops a top for her and a top for me <laughs> um because i do love it and she's happy to match so yeah and she has like wee pink and yellow leggings that she could wear top with and then i could just wear it with jeans so that could be an option too maybe wee tops for both of us matching um because it is gorgeous it feels amazing it's so silky um really really lovely um i'm nearly sure it is 10 pound a meter um or in around that price anyway i'll correct it down below if i'm wrong for that price it feels amazing it is really really lovely it feels so, so soft and silky and yeah it's cotton so it's gonna be so nice to work with too and then it's quite lightweight so when we do get summer it's gonna be lovely um lovely to wear so yeah it's gorgeous and yeah that's it <laughs> so i've loads to keep me busy now um thankfully especially a lot of the stuff for emily is very quick and easy to make so that won't take me too long and then yeah i will definitely be working on this one this week i'm going to get i think the rest of the day is going to be dry so i'm going to get these all overlocked and into the wash so that i can get started on them soon i thought i'm so excited about this one it is really lovely so yeah and i have i've started tracing off the pattern and everything so it's nearly ready to go um so yeah that's it for me i will put links to everything down below as i say this is the new ca6 collection that is launching today um and i mean if everyone else loves it as much as we love it i would say it's gonna go pretty quickly and yeah it's just it's just absolutely gorgeous really really lovely really really lovely collection um and yeah that's everything for me so i will be back soon i'm sure with a roundup of all these things that I've been making. Hopefully I'll have loads of stuff to show you. Um, this, as I say, was our deco cotton lawn. It is a self-drafted shirt. Um, it's just a sort of loose-ish fit, but slightly more fitted around the shoulders, which I have been finding hard to get. A lot of oversized shirts seem to be dropped shoulders, whereas I wanted something that was fitted here. Um, so yeah, I have plans now to hack this into a dress as well. So we'll see how that goes but yeah that is everything from me i hope you're all having a lovely day and have some nice plans for the weekend and i will chat to you all soon bye